Hi everyone, in today's video, I'm gonna be sharing with you how to customize app icons on your iPhone, specifically on iOS 17. So all you'll need for this is the Shortcuts app, which is default on your phone, and also just an image of the app icon that you want to use for your custom app icon. I'm also gonna be sharing with you another method that's kind of like installing a theme of a bunch of app icons at once on your phone. For this, you'll just need the Color Widgets app. There are other apps to do this as well, but Color Widgets is just my favorite. So let's get started and I'll show you how to customize these app icons. So to create a shortcut, all you need to do is go into the shortcuts app that is default on your phone. If you've maybe deleted it, you can just find it again in the app store. So we're gonna go in there and then you can see here's a list of all my previously made shortcuts. To create a new shortcut, we're just gonna click on this plus button here in the top right corner and then we can start creating our shortcut. This is the option that you're gonna wanna use. It's called open app. If you don't see it on here as a suggestion, you can just go here to search and search for it and then it will pop up. So just make sure you're selecting the open app option. Then you'll see it has a section where it says app that you have to tap on and then it will give you a list of all the apps that is on your phone. So just choose the app that you want to create a shortcut for. So I'm going to choose Instagram here. So now it says open Instagram. That's all you need to do to kind of like make the shortcut. Now we're just going to add it to our home screen. To do that you're just going to click on the share option down here and then you're going to scroll down till you see add to home screen. Tap on that and then it shows you a preview of what your shortcut is going to look like. So right now it's looking pretty bland so let's go ahead and change the title. So I'm just going to type in Instagram. You can title it whatever you want. And then for the icon as you can see they set a default icon. You can tap on there and click on choose photo or choose file or take photo. The option you're going to choose is dependent on where the photo is that you've created for an icon. So I'm going to just choose file. As you can see, I have quite a few icons here for Instagram. I usually find my packs off of Etsy or you can create your own. So I'm just going to choose this one here. And then once you're happy with your layout, again, it shows a preview here of what it's going to look like. You can just click on add. And just like that, it's added that to my home screen. Now if I tap on it, it's going to open up Instagram. A mistake that I found people sometimes make is they read use the same shortcut to create all of their shortcuts on their home screen. So for instance, we've just made this shortcut which opens up Instagram, but let's say in the same shortcut we just changed the app. So let's go with mail and then we add that to our home screen. So now when I open up mail, it's gonna open up the mail app, but also if I tap on Instagram, it's also gonna open up the mail app. That's because you reuse the same shortcut. So let's just change this back to Instagram. You have to make a new shortcut for each individual app. You can't just reuse that shortcut. Otherwise, it's just gonna program all the shortcuts that you've made to the last app that you've set the shortcut to. So make sure just to create a new shortcut for each app. So that's the one way to change app icons on your phone. Another way is installing a bunch of icons in bulk from an app. So I'm going to go to the app called Color Widgets. This is just my favorite for this. You'll see here in the app it has an icon section so you can go there and here they have so many types of icons. Some of them if they have like a pro version on it, it says pro on it, it means you need to have a paid subscription for the app to use them, otherwise some of them will be free. So let's go ahead and install one of these to show you how this works. I'm gonna go for this pack here, maybe you're prepping for the festive season. So as you can see, it then shows all these app icons. So all of them will be selected and all of these will be created on your phone. So as you can see, it says 138 icons. So you can go ahead and install all of them or you can just go through this list and deselect the ones that maybe you just don't want on your phone. Maybe you don't have that app on your phone. You can just go through or you can go up here to deselect all and then manually just go through the ones that you want. You can also search for apps here and then you can just choose the ones that you want. So I'm just going to choose the first four to show you and I'm just going to click on install for icons. Then I'm just going to tap on download icons and allow close and continue. So now we're going to go into settings here and it will open up to this page where you have to click on your profile that you downloaded. So this custom icon pack, let's tap on that. Then you're just going to click on install and tap in your passcode. If you just go to settings yourself and you don't tap here, you might not know where to find this. Um, if I go to my settings here, you'll see at the top, it will already say profile downloaded. So we'll take you to the same place to install that icon. And now if I go to my home screen, it will have installed those apps as you can see. 
So these are just really nice because it saves you a lot of time. It does everything for you. All you need to do is just install it. If you're bored with a pack or you just don't want it on your phone anymore, you can go and delete it one by one. But also one way easier way is just to uninstall the pack from settings. So I'm gonna go into settings again. And then to get to those things that you've installed, you just go to general, scroll down to VPN and device management, and then you'll see you have a pack here. If you don't know which pack it is that you wanna uninstall, you will see in each one, it says how many web clips, which is basically apps, um, is in that pack. So this one just has one. This one says four web clips, so that's the one that we just installed. This one says 24. So it will be the four web clips that I just installed. So if I click on remove profile and uninstall it, it will then remove those app icons very easily. One thing I do wanna point out that might be a deciding factor for you. So obviously if you create them one by one in the shortcuts app, it will take a lot longer. It is a lot more time sensitive to you. But if you do it with these apps, it's faster. But with the ones that you create in shortcuts app, you will see that when you tap and open up the app, it will just make a little notification at the top and then it will be done. But the ones here that you create in color widgets or whatever app you're using, it's a bit more intrusive because it will open up to a white page and then go into the app. It's not just like a little notification at the top. So it's a lot more annoying, I feel like, than just having like a little notification pop up. So just take that into consideration. Shortcuts is a lot less intrusive in that way, whereas these go into a white page and then go into the app. Sometimes it will go into the Shortcuts app as well. So it's as easy as that. That is how you customize app icons on iOS 17. I hope you enjoyed this video and found it helpful. If you did, give this video a thumbs up and comment down below if you have any questions, I will definitely reply to them. Again, thanks so much for watching. Bye.